Probability Proportional to Size Sampling PPS sampling, is a powerful auditing technique that can be particularly useful for candidates preparing for the Certified Internal Auditor CIA Part 2 exam. This method of sampling is employed when auditors want to select a sample from a population in such a way that each unit's chance of being selected is proportional to its size. This size could refer to the dollar value, volume, or any other measure that reflects the unit's importance to the population's total. Understanding PPS sampling is crucial for internal auditors because it enhances the efficiency and effectiveness of the audit process, especially when dealing with financial statements and large data sets. Imagine you're an auditor tasked with auditing a company's inventory. Instead of treating every item in the inventory equally, PPS sampling allows you to give more weight to higher valued items. This is because in many cases, larger items in terms of value have a greater impact on the financial statements and are of more interest in the audit. The basic steps in PPS sampling include, one, determine the size measure. First, you define what constitutes the size for your sampling. For financial audits, this is often the dollar value. One, calculate the sampling interval. This involves dividing the total of the size measures for all units in the population by the number of samples you wish to take. One, select the sample units. Starting with a random start within the first interval, you select units whose cumulative size reaches the sampling interval threshold. Each unit's probability of selection is directly proportional to its size. Efficiency PPS. Sampling is highly efficient, particularly for large data sets where auditing every unit is impractical. It allows auditors to focus on items that could significantly impact the audit's conclusions. Cost effectiveness. By concentrating efforts on higher value items, auditors can reduce the time and resources needed for the audit, making it more cost effective. Flexibility, PPS. Sampling can be adapted to various audit scenarios and types of data, making it a versatile tool in an auditor's arsenal. For CIA Part 2 candidates, understanding PPS sampling's theory and application is essential. The exam covers internal audit practice, including how to plan and perform audits effectively. Questions may test your understanding of different sampling methods, including PPS sampling, and how they can be applied in auditing financial and operational processes. Practice with real data. Applying PPS. Sampling techniques to real or simulated data sets can help solidify your understanding. Understand its limitations. While PPS sampling is powerful, it's not suitable for every situation. Be aware of scenarios where other sampling methods might be more appropriate. Focus on the objective. Remember, the goal of PPS sampling is to make your audit process more efficient by focusing on items that matter most. Keep this objective in mind as you study its application.